Welcome back, Jaguar Nation. I'm Brain Chica for USAJaguars.com here for a special preseason edition of South Alabama Football Update. Now, on August 29th, the football players are doing the same thing I'm doing right now, walking through this tunnel onto Live People Stadium Field to embark on a new Sunbelt Championship season. Now, going after the Sunbelt Crowns is going to be a first for the football team, as last year they did play Sunbelt schedule, but were not eligible to win the Sunbelt Conference Championship. But this year, things have changed, so has players' attitude as more unselfish play, hard work, and dedication has gone into in this offseason program. Now, this will be an eight-part series in this preseason edition of the South Alabama Football Update, where today we'll look at the defensive line, mainly the defensive tackles with Montavious Williams and Brandon Carnathan with their coach, Brian Turner. And coming off what happened last season, Coach Turner is excited on having a bevy of upperclassmen returning to the defensive tackle spot. Yeah, I mean, these guys are eager to win, and, and that's the thing. Um, They've, they've bought into the system. They've bought into everything we're teaching them. And, and they were able now to take what I've been teaching them for three and four or five years and, and put it to good use this fall and uh, teach the younger guys that are coming along the, the stuff I'm looking for that they, they had to go through the, the learning curve to, to figure it all out. Both Montavious and Randa know having senior experience to lean on come crucial in games. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I, I think we're going to hang our hat on this year. we got a veteran group, you know. At coming here as a beginning program, you had like one senior each year. Then like last year, maybe got like the double digits finally. So this year with 27 and graduating with two guys off defense and those guys we lost, we, we got some guys who played a little. So we, we got game experience, and I think we can hang our hat on it and rely on our seniors when they get into crunch time. Well, it definitely is, man. One of them, I mean, out of space is my roommate. You got uh, Matavis Williams and Romeo Jones who've been here the, the whole time. So, really, man, you, you can't break that bond. You know, when we say D-line, man, we really preach that all the time. So, you'll hear it more often than probably any other place you go to because that's where it starts, in the front, you know? During his career, Montavious bounced around a couple spots before finding a home at the defensive tackle position. Yeah, um, when I first came in, I started out as a DN, then the coach seen me play and thought he could move me around a few places, then I ended up at nose, and it's kind of tough, like you say, taking up two guys at once, but I mean, it's just something you come adapt to, and just, you get used to doing your job, and when you do your job, they let the defense build success, and you know, sometimes we get the linebacker filling that gap, they're going to, um, the guard to get off and go get him, and I can slip off and make a play. Due to an NCAA rule, both Randon and Montavious came into the Jaguar football program in 2009 and was able to play their redshirt seasons. Both players know how big of an advantage it was to get that extra year of playing time under their belts. Oh, really, man, having five years under your belt and playing with the same teammates next to you, man, it really brings a bond together and you know what, what to expect out of that person next to, next to you. So it's really, you know, you're more confident than anything, and you, you gain more knowledge of the game plan, D-line, five years of college ball. I mean, not a lot of players do that. Uh, that, that year was detrimental to my success, hopefully this year, because I was able to get a year under my belt, being able to play my red shirt year, you know. A lot of guys don't get to do that, and, and I think that's going to help just getting used to the game. The college speed and is a little faster than high school, just getting acclimated with it, and I think that year will help me. Coach Brian Turner goes in depth about the overall depth at the defensive tackle spot. We'll start off with um, three technique, Ramel Jones. Um, he's kind of the catalyst of the defensive line. He uh, has played since he came here as a freshman. Uh, this was his fifth year. Uh, very athletic uh, defensive lineman that we expect big things out of. Um, the other one is uh, up for grabs. Um, Jesse Kelly is a walk-on that came here to earn himself a scholarship, had a tremendous spring. Um, Montavious Williams has been here. This is his fifth year. Um, we expect big things out of him um, also. So him and Jesse are kind of battling for that top spot at nose guard. Um, really anxious to see what Chesare Johnson is, is going to do this year. Chesare's kind of been, uh, had a lot of bad things happen to him since he's been here, but uh, he can't coach. He's 6'6", six, six. he's 285 pounds and can really run. And, and so we expect to see what he can do. This is his first year he'll really be able to play. Um, and there's a couple of signees that we signed that we're really expecting big things out of to come in and help us provide depth. Randy got injured last season in the eighth game of the year, missed the final five games of the 2012 season, 
which also held him out in spring drills. He now talks about how his knee is doing and when he expects to return. Uh, really just coming off an of injury, man, I had to keep my head on, you know, uh, not get frustrated with, you know, the injury and really working, man. I have to come back 100% trying to. But really, I work out every morning with our trainers. They do a good job with trying to, you know, get my strength back into my, my knee and everything. But it, it's really just sometimes you lose focus on what, what you need to be doing because of your injury. Sometimes that can mess with your head. But you really just got to work, man. Work to get back to where you was and get back out there with your teammates. How close are you to 100%? Camp starts when August 1st. You'll see me at practice. We'll be we'll, we'll, so we'll ready to go. So you'll be the August 1st? I'll be the August 1st. Both players' personal goals for the season are not just how many tackles they can rack up. Coming back to where I was and being better, man. For real. That's the only thing you can really preach for real. I haven't, I haven't said any stats or anything like that. I just go out there and play. Um, it's kind of hard to put a number on tackles because we, we do a lot of multiple defense and a lot of different schemes, but I know I don't want to sound cliche, but I feel like the best is yet to come. I, I've been saving the best for last, and the, the work I've been putting in this summer and just like the whole team, I can see it catching on like a cancer that this is going to be a pretty big year for all of us. In part two of this eight-part series of the South Alabama football update, preseason edition, we'll take a look at the wide receivers and tight ends.